As built for AutoCAD. Tutorial Pipes. After this tutorial, you will be able to use scan navigation, create pipe runs efficiently using Walk the Run, apply constraints, export results, and create an ISO drawing. Start by opening your tutorial underscore plant dot DWG file in AutoCAD Plant 3D. Under Section Manager, check the Transparency box to make the point cloud transparent. Select Create Scan Labels, Recap. Once the scan labels appear, go to Scan Nav and select Scan Navigation On and select the scan position labeled Recap PT underscore ISBL underscore S101. Note, Scan Navigation can also be activated by double-clicking the scan label. Uncheck the transparency box to see the dense point cloud. You can pan or zoom to achieve your desired view. From the As Built Plant ribbon, click the Walk the Run command. Select Pre Calculate Cylinders to work faster. The Pre Calculate Cylinders command fits and extracts all cylinders in a batch and uses them as a reference when we use the Walk the Run command. The speed of the video has been altered for demonstration purposes only. Here, we can see the as-built cylinder layer has been created. Click OK. Click the Walk the Run command and select Find a new run to start piping. Pick two points on the pipe after the flange. The software will check the catalog for suitable components and show the most probable at the top of the list of matching objects. Here, it finds an elbow. To avoid any issues, uncheck Cut Back Elbows and strictly check for Compatibility box. By unchecking the box, it will limit the amount of options available. Select the matching object and click Insert and Continue. The software will look for the next components of the run. It automatically detects another elbow. It is highlighted at the top of the matching object list. Click Insert and Continue. View the other side of the pipe by selecting Pan Zoom. Here, we can see that the software is ignoring the flange. We will force the software to insert the flange on this area. To place a weld neck flange, you need to select it from the manual insertion list at the bottom. You can use the text filter to narrow the options. Then select the correct 6 inch flange and click Insert and Continue. Select Position by Point. Notice that you can drag it up and down the axis. Also, if you select Toggle in the command prompt, you can change the placement between the back of the flange, the face, or the weld. Since we can see the weld very well, toggle to Weld and pick a point on it to place the flange. Select OK. Once you are done placing the pipes, click Finish Pipe Run. Delete any unwanted pipes. Now, we will view the components and see if they are a good fit. Under Section Manager, check the Transparency box. Notice that there is some offset between the pipes and the components. This is common because the algorithm finds the local best fit. Fix it by going to the Pipes panel and select Apply Constraints. Select Strategy 2 to ensure the results meet the constraints of a design software like AutoCAD Plant 3D. Click Select Plant Objects. Click one pipe and press Enter. Everything connected to that pipe will turn green. Not all the components turn green, but we can fix it manually. Press Escape to cancel the command. Click the Set Link command and pick the two components to create a link between them. Go back to Apply Constraints. Click Select Plant Objects, click the pipe, and press Enter. Notice that now everything that is connected turned green. Press Enter again to go back to the Apply Constraints dialog. Make sure that Strategy 2 is picked. Click Start Apply Constraints. Notice that the gaps are now closed and everything has remained in the correct place and is still aligned to the point cloud. Select a pipe and right-click to select properties. The pipe is a Cubit Plant Pipe, proprietary custom entity. AutoCAD must have As built in it to see this object type. We want to export the pipes as AutoCAD Plant 3D objects. Click Export. Under Piping Systems, we have several options like exporting AutoCAD objects. For this example, select Plant 3D. Ensure the Erase As Built Plant Objects After Export option is selected and click OK. Select one pipe and press Enter. 
The green color shows that all pipes are connected. Press Enter to continue. Under Section Manager, uncheck All Points to turn the Point Cloud display off. Let's look at the results. Navigate to the piping. Select one of the pipes and review the properties. You can see that it is a Plant 3D piping component and it can stand alone in AutoCAD Plant 3D apart from AsBuilt. Go to the AsBuilt Modeler ribbon and click the Scan Nav Off and the Hide Scan Labels command. Now we are leaving AsBuilt and use AutoCAD Plant 3D commands to create an ISO drawing. Navigate to the ISOs ribbon and click the Quick ISO command. Select all the piping. Press the spacebar key and change the ISO style to Final underscore ANSI dash C. Click Advance. Slide the split points to More. Click OK and Create. Here we can see the notification that the ISO is being created. Once you see the pop-up notification, click the hyperlink to open the ISO drawing. Now that the ISO is open, you can see the weld list, bill of materials, and cut piece list, among other things. In this tutorial, you learned how to use scan navigation. Create pipe runs efficiently using Walk the Run, apply constraints, export results, and create an ISO drawing.